Shalom, everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for our daily reading. Today is the 20th of April, 2020. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. I hope you can make the best of it. Let's go ahead and get started. Here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. <clears throat> So we have the Aleph wanting to hop out here. Divine, what do you want to say about this Aleph here, this new foundation, this strong leader who leads a clan? You know, let me just say something real quick. For I've been up for a while. I've been shedding a lot of tears. My face is so puffed up because I cried myself to sleep and got in the shower this morning and just let that water just hit my face and still puffy and many of you watched that video that I did last night and that information that came out it broke my heart well right before I got started I sat down with my scripture and was just reading some things and opened up and the divine gave me gave me a comforting word this morning right where I was at just right where I'm at and I grabbed our English alphabet and um what came out was the MB, the mob, or the bum. And uh, that goes back to, to a beast, which it was making reference to cattle and stuff like that. We have the Aleph that just jumped out. Because it was under that same section with the BM. Something really tall. Something like that. But under that section, it was showing... It, it was connected to the Aleph energy of the, uh, this is the ox head. It's the first letter. We're in the first zodiac house right now. But I just think, I just want to point that out because it's actually showing itself and just had it come out in letters. Because I just felt compelled to look up that word. Even though it was in our English letters, I felt compelled to look it up in the Hebrew. And that's what it meant. Um, so we're getting a strong, powerful leadership here, which lays foundations in families, but it's called a clan. Well, MB is the mob or something like that as well. Okay, I'm just telling you what came out. You can interpret this stuff any way you need to where you're at. It doesn't mean no, never mind. I just listen to the great divine and say what he says to say and uh, have to have to live in that in that path as well. So we have the AT, and we know what that means, the act. That goes back to the beginning of, uh, or the, uh, that will also take you back to the mark uh, of a kind. This is the tenth that's coming out. Well, this is the snake in the basket with the judgment needing good discernment on some things. Okay, we have a 19 here, which is a 10, which is all of today's date breaks down to that one or that 10, okay? Uh, and having all that we need to put a dang judgment on some things that have been in the land. Okay, the beastie behaviors, uh, people murdering little children that are innocent. Anyway, the 19 is the sun, which is right here at the bottom of the decks. We get it twice. And uh, this would go back to social stuff it's an overturn of something of this wickedness hopefully to put a judgment we know we're in the judgment we absolutely know that we're in the judgment get rid of these blood suckers because we are sh being shown children here because the sun card has a little child on the horse we have internet stuff here going on here with catching people up in the net and stuff like that. And we know all about the tech. And we all, <clears throat> we know about a bright future here. Um, but right now we're in the judgment. And once it's over, all our tears are going to be wiped away, he said. Let's look what this is. So this word, actually we've had it on this channel before. It's. It means to be gentle, but to be corralled. Th this is an ox head, okay? And that's exactly what it's talking about. The idea that, you know, this ox is contained. 
It says the idea that one that can be rough and harsh, but acts in a gentle manner. Yes, we've had this word before. We're talking about beast energy that came out, like I just said, and we get the tent in the basket, which is cursed above all beasts. Okay? That word went back to the ox energy. Okay? The bull. And the tet, the pictograph is the kisses and the o's, which makes the literal word ox. And we do know that people are in a, uh, uh, a group. We'll just say the MB is part of a gang, a clan, a group, a family, a strong leader of a family. But this is a, this is a group that is connected to the beast energy. And it says to act, to act. Acting soft or gentle. It's a charmer. It's a charmer. Snakes get charmed. Okay? They charm people. They charm little children to trap them, to catch them up in some type of a net. This goes right back to one who, who gently um, charms the snake. Yeah, secret. It goes back to secrets here. Yes, there have been hard secrets that have come out because everything that's hidden will come to the light. And this is the sunlight twice. And it's so big and bright. And it's right up in your face. And uh, so we got somebody here or a situation or something here that's huge. It's a group. It's, it's, it, it it's acts like it's gentle, but it's a freaking liar. And the word the other direction is um, T-H-A. And it's the broom. It means to sweep. Yes, we've had this word before. We've talked about how things are just swept under the secret stuff. We know the broom in the Lenormand is high tempers. It's anger. It's high strung arguments and stuff like that is what the broom represents. To sweep something. That, should, that, that kind of stuff needs to be uh, forcibly overturned and swept up a different way now. Because people can see all the nastiness. Because the sun's really big and bright today. Okay? Uh, when's the last time you've seen, you know, a, a big old bull be really kind and gentle? It's it's a lie. Okay? So, because the snake's around every corner, wait to put the fangs in you. To suck you dry. Look, we have a tick here. The vomits of a tick. They're blood suckers. Okay? And it's huge. And the divine has told me this morning it's fixing to, it's fixing to really uh, do something huge. Okay, let's move forward. We have a cat here as well. Could also be a name or abbreviation of a name. Um, we have somebody uh, um, that took something, obviously, because they're thieves and liars. We have the word take out here in the bonnets. Um, we have something really thick. Somebody's really in a, a thick mess. Maybe leadership of whatever this clan stuff is, and the divine's bringing it out twice for me to look at the mob, the beast. So we have a yes, first of all, another yes. We have three yeses, actually, with the vibration of a 19 and 19. And for me, for a reader, the uh, temperance card is a yes. And here we get that rainbow again, okay? Uh, for rainbow baby situations that took place that led to other situations that took place. The divine began to talk to me about that um, rainbow there because it has been coming up a lot. That's the temperance card that's having a lack of temperance or, you know, reconciling and getting things together. Okay, this is about truth. This is about law. Okay, this is about uh, management, management, leadership here. Okay, but fake leadership, wicked in the land. We have the five of pentacles. Okay, well, we have a reconciliation. This is feeling left out in the cold and insecure. change. We have a 14 and a 5. And so, you know, we got a 10 here. We got a 10 here. We got a 10 here with the 19. We got a 3. Something is huge. 
<laughs> this is a, this is a freaking clan that we're talking about. That's huge. That's a big freaking liar, and every single thing is out in the open. The divine, the divine told me some things today, and I'm not sure that I'm able to uh, reveal some things, but there's some big, 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 big things coming. Okay, really big things coming, and it's playing out. Just He showed it to me. I was like, oh my God, here we are. Showed me where we're at. At. Devon, what else do you want to bring out here? Thank you. Yeah, the five of wands. Okay, a lot of brainstorming, but this is wicked stuff. This has been wicked stuff because people have been thrown out in some situations here. Really, really bad. I had to pause the camera because that fell out of my hand. Uh, we've got people fighting because of money situations for one thing. Um... Uh, because that, that energy that came out this morning, go back to banks and stuff. So there's the Queen of Swords, there's the Witch, and the negative. And I'm calling her that. If, so if you're air sign, you're in the upright, obviously. I'm not talking to you. Uh, I'm saying this because of uh, the Beast. We know that Lilith came out in that other card deck that I had yesterday. And um, when I was doing that really part one reading and part two, I asked a direct question about my, ran my grandson, and I got the sun in his sign. Actually, which is a tor little Taurus. Okay, for anyway, um, the Queen of Swords in the negative, she's Lilith in that deck, and this is witchery. So, look, she looks like a witch. Okay, this is somebody who's really sharp in the upright, would absolutely be calculated, would know what to say, has thought something out, and uh, she's very matter of fact. I don't think so. Uh, in the upright and in the negative like I said she's a witch she is literally that, that she's a witch murderer D you know putting intentions and spells and things like that on people okay so we're getting the Aleph energy come out really strong today because we know <laughs> we know what's connected to that group okay we know what's connected so we have the Hierophant we have um, another five coming out here. The fives are conflicts. Okay, we also have the 14, two fives, and, and the higher five. As above, so below. We got we get really big sets of fives out here. 19 still got two sets of fives in it. So there's a big change today. There's huge change. There's truth here. There's law here. In society, this change is occurring, and there's conflict here. As well, and I'm going to take cart on this five of wands. Show me this five of wands, divine, please. Show me this five of wands. Thank you. The truth. Yeah, they're fighting over the truth. The truth literally just cut their freaking chain right in two. And it shall continue. And uh, there's the buck or the deer and the things why they do things how they do it. To lay those foundations with babies and children. That's a new foundation showing itself here. With innocency. Okay? A deer is innocent is one of the meanings of a deer. And we've got childbirth energy here as well. And um, people just playing games with that crap. So we've got two aces here. Which is air and earth, which has been nothing but this ruckus in the last few months. Go watch my videos. Go watch other people's videos. I'm sure they're picking up on that energy. Air and earth has been nothing like this, but like this for quite some time now. Because of money situations. Because of contracts, because of the mark of the beast, and all of that, okay? Because of the truth, because of little children, okay? Being chopped up, and, and, uh, and this, I, I know that's really dramatic, but listen, people. The divine's going to take care of this crap. He told me so. What, what else you want to say this morning, Divine? Because I, I just really, um, I don't know how I feel at this time. I, I got so many emotions that are running through me. And uh, 
messages, yes. They are heartbreaking. <laughs> This is how I stood in my shower this morning and just cried over things that I know now down deep inside that finally come to the surface right up in your face about things that have taken place. Travel trips. Things that happened because of lying and cheating and stealing and witchery. And things get out of hand and then people try to cover things up and then it just gets worse and it's just all over society. It's just a big freaking mess. So yes, messages that have came and broke the heart. Cupid's arrows <laughs> about babies. Cupid is a little angel that's a baby that makes you fall in love, right? With some people, it does nothing but break their heart in two because they're, they're, they're just acting. They're acting like they're gentle. Where am I at on top? What's the overall energy that you want to bring out here, Divine, for a message? Like, if you got somebody that you know that you've wronged or something, I don't care how big it is or how small it is. We have reconciliation energy here, and, and we have a yes. On the Hierophant's head, there's the moon. We've got the sun showing itself again. So we've got... 19, 19, and then we see the, the sun here. We, we got all kinds of stuff here. And then we got the moon underneath that, which we know all about that crap. That's the mark of the beast. So we have the Grand Cross Provoker coming up here. It's 47, it's 11, and there needs to be a judgment. And there is a judgment. It shows it right there. A judgment on the snake, on the beast, on the ox on the group that is connected to the bull. So this card comes out and talks about frustrations, being overwhelmed by the reality of the situation. Balancing things out, analyzing paralysis, unreadiness to move or act. Some people just think they're just going to sit there and that's why at the bottom of the deck is a forcible overtone on your ass. We have um, building a foundation with this card. Building a foundation. Laying foundations there. Direction. Direction. In a new direction here. Needing to act. Well, they're just sitting there. That's why this forcible overthrow is going to blow sunshine up their rear end they're going to have hard luck they're not going to be able to focus okay this is needing to be more flexible and that's fixed energy coming out this is um, encountering resistance <sighs> yeah because of stubbornness what it is this is also feeling hurt and victimization, feeling misunderstood, and you know, children are misunderstood, and they get this sharp witch sometimes that won't just listen, and things get out of hand. You better not take for granted one moment your children and what you have. Because there's a great evil that has taken place in this land. <laughs> From people who are nothing but liars. Sun worship. It said last night on that video. This is the nine of wands, the wounded warrior through this frustration and having to stay disciplined in the pressure. But it is a completion and it is a victory because the sun is going to shine. 